Hi everyone, my name is Jordan Kite. I'm fairly new to the YouTube world. Um, I have recently, recently in the past couple months, have started doing homemade DIY um, raw food for my dogs. I have a one-year-old yellow lab and a two-year-old half bloodhound, half black lab. Um, we are following the BARF rules, which is biologically approved raw food. Um, we do everything DIY. We don't buy the grinds from the store um, as easy as it would be to do that. Um, it's a little more expensive. So, I was just going to introduce myself and show you some of the things we'll need before we get started. I want to start doing these videos every now and then. Um, share some recipes with you guys and some tips and tricks on how we do treats around here and different feedings. So, to start with, you're going to need some basics. Wipes. Spray. And Dawn dish soap. Not everybody uses these, but these are my favorite, okay? I like a clean house. I don't like germs and dealing with raw food. Big quantities of raw food on my counter. I use those all the time. Okay, so the other things that we have, I personally keep a notebook to log all of the meals that we have. Um, I like to categorize it. We do two meals a day, breakfast and dinner. I just write down everything that they ate. Um, I do snacks in between also. I like to do this because if something were to happen, um, I would have kept record of what they ate so I could say to the vet if I had to take them, this is exactly what they ate. I also like to know for my own reasons if they get sick or if they're scratching or if they have a rash, I know what I put in their bodies. I feel like this helps us feel at peace with knowing that we can keep up with what we're doing. Um, we know the variety of meats we're feeding, how much we're feeding, and I also keep on there how the animals respond to it. If you're going to do DIY, you need to measure everything. The scale that I use is the 80-10-10, which is 80% muscle meat, 10% bone, and 10% organs. Um, that's 5% liver and 5% other. You could do kidney or lungs, whatever you wanted to do. You need to weigh everything out, so figure out how much your dogs need. It's usually about 2.5% of their body weight if they're full grown. Um, my dogs get two pounds a day, which is a pound per meal each. So I weigh everything out in these. And you can actually put a plate on top of this if you want to do it that way. It only goes up to two pounds, so you, if you want a bigger scale, you might want to look into that. Um, but I usually just throw the meat right in here. This is my personal favorite because I'm very into natural things. If I find something that I want to grind up myself, I do it in this. Um, you can find these anywhere, but I do almonds usually just to powder it on top. Um, if I do add any supplements or eggshells or something, I'll sometimes grind it up in that. Now for storage, this can be a little bit tricky depending on how much space you have. Um, I like these, these little one liter boxes. They're just off-brand Walmart boxes. Um, they seal pretty nicely. They hold a pretty great deal of food. You can actually feed your dog right out of these, I guess. Um, I use these for refrigerator storage because I have more for refrigerator storage. But for my freezer, I just use the quart size Ziploc bags. One meal per bag, I flatten it and I stack them on top of each other. Um, I hate to do that just because I'd like to be more green and not throw away the plastic. Um, but if you actually if you just absolutely have to because of storage space, then these bags work pretty great. 
one of your most important things are your cutlery. I keep a meat only cutting board to help with germs. I don't put my veggies on this. I don't put my personal food on this. This is for raw meat only. I also have this pretty nice knife that I found at Walmart for like eight bucks. Really good sturdy knife, sharp. I can chop, I can slice, I can do what I need to do with it. Different ice cube trays. Um, these are probably my favorite thing that I've used since I started raw feeding. Um, this one's a more, it's a flexible one, but it's all plastic. Um, it's actually a water bottle ice cube tray, so they're really thin. Um, and then this one has little silicone bottoms. But these are great for everything. I make treats out of these. Um, if I need something to be measured exactly the same, usually I do my liver pieces in these because it's just the right amount. Um, and then I freeze it and I pop it out and I don't have to worry about it and they love it because it's frozen. So those are great and I'm going to do some videos in the future on how to make treats with these and different recipes. And Slippery Elm. This is a great little supplement. Um, this is the Nature's Way Slippery Elm. I picked it up at the Whole Foods Market. It's just a little tablet that actually has the powder in it. Um, you want to have this on hand just in case your dogs react to something um, and end up having diarrhea or something. Maverick, my Black Lab Bloodhound, he does not ever react to anything negatively. Um, he doesn't have a sensitive stomach, but Stella, on the other hand, she does have a sensitive stomach. So we do use this um, whenever that happens and it usually stops it and you can tell she feels better. Um, it's a good thing to have on hand. Don't overuse it. I wouldn't feed it every day. Just kind of fill it out and you know your dogs if they're going to react badly to it. Then give them the supplement. Now, a small disclaimer before we go on and I make any more of these videos. I am not a vet. I do not know everything. But I have done my research. I know what works for my dogs. You're welcome to take my tips and use them. Do whatever you want with them. Um, you don't have to go buy things how I go buy things. I do it my way. My dogs react really great to it. Um, I hope that you can find all of my tips helpful. And I am excited to start my journey with other people. Thank you.